Hey, this is Billboard, and you should know me, Conan Gray. I grew up in a really small town in the smack dab middle of Texas, Yeehaw. Um, it's a town named Georgetown, and it has a lot of old people um, and uh, a lot of cows and gas stations. If someone were to play me in a movie, I'd probably say Timothy Chalamet just because he's like the tenfold more attractive version of me. I'd love that. I'm horrible at dancing. <laughs> I'm, my favorite dance move is just um, wiggling. Just a wiggle, just like a little noodle. Uh, try my best on stage. If I were an animal, I think I'd be a bird. My friends agree that I am simultaneously a peacock when I'm in a, on a good day and an ostrich on a bad day. <laughs> my best fan encounter I've ever had um, was at my last LA show. I was playing at the Echo and I was singing a song that I'd written on guitar and halfway through the song, everyone in the crowd started putting up these signs with like the lyrics of the song on it and it was super sweet and I almost started crying on stage and it was just like, it was a moment where I realized like how real everything that was happening was and um, it was just astonishing and, and it, yeah, I almost cried. I started a YouTube channel when I was really young just because I was like a really nostalgic kid so I was always recording random things like videos of my dog and like of my friends and and then once I started songwriting when I was 12 um, I started putting up those videos of me singing just because I think I was bored like any small town kid it was just something I did on the weekend and it was just like this fun thing for me and YouTube was this cool platform where if I put up a video of me singing like a bunch of people could tell me what they thought, which is also kind of scary, but yeah, it was just a fun thing for me. I started making music when I was 12-ish. I started songwriting because of Adele, but I think I'd always been writing music, you know, throughout the course of my life. I, I remember like singing in the shower and singing like making songs out of the ingredients lists on like packages of food and things like that. Yeah, I think I've always just been writing, but started like really realizing that you could write songs when I was 12 and have been doing it ever since. If I could collaborate with anyone, um, I would probably say Lord. I love her so much and when that first album came out, it just like absolutely obliterated my mind. It was just the craziest thing to me and um, she totally, her music totally shaped so much of what I think about pop music and um, I just think she's the coolest person alive. I wrote Crush Culture about my miserable love life. I'm 19 years old and I still haven't had my first kiss yet, which isn't something I'm super proud of confessing. Um, but my friends have all gone through a lot of relationships and I think when you're single, like seeing other people in relationships just kind of makes you want to throw up everywhere. Um, so yeah, Crush Culture came from this like piece of bitterness in my heart and um, I just I just wanted to destroy everyone who was in love only because I don't have love myself.